yes people so this is my video on why i think women's boxing will never be as big as men's boxing one of the problems that they have is obviously just like the pole of women compared to the pole of men is the competition is just not as strong but regardless of that i mean that is an issue but it's not a big issue they could still it can still work like the biggest issue that they have in my opinion is they don't promote it enough look how big women's ufc is i mean par conor mcgregor ronda rousey was probably the biggest star in the ufc at least for a period of time she definitely was she was main event in shows she was on the box office she she was everywhere ronda rousey was everywhere um when she was the undefeated champ undefeated champion at the time KOing woman in like 13 seconds and so on and so forth but the problem is boxing don't promote the female fighters like that the biggest star probably would be katie taylor yeah it's definitely katie taylor but you look at the do you remember when katie taylor fought the um that german lady on on the american show when she when she did lose but she got the decision that's probably the best it's the best woman's fight i've ever seen in boxing i mean it's right it's got to be right up there um why was that fight not promoted like the rematch again why didn't they put that somewhere it doesn't matter if it's a if it's a big venue or a small venue it, personally i think if they if they do it properly they could have sold out the o2 with that especially if they had a good on the card katie taylor i'd imagine katie taylor could sell out a lot of tickets or even just put it in ireland katie taylor would sell out any venue in ireland any venue she's a global like i say global she's an irish superstar like you know what i mean so you would have sold that out easy anywhere in ireland put it on put the rematch on in ireland and you know it would have sold it everywhere it could have been she could have main evented it they maybe could have pay-per-viewed it i don't know how well that would have done but they that's what they should have done but instead they let it rot for like a year or two and then put it on behind closed doors on i don't even know what show it was on i didn't even watch the other the, the, the rematch this is what i mean it was just not they don't promote it properly on top of that why again it doesn't matter what venue why don't they on on small hall levels or something why don't they do a show in york hall and just do it like an all woman's card an all woman's night of boxing they could have someone maybe she's getting too big now but they could have had someone like Chantal cameron main event it for like the uh, her ibo title or something and you know they have they have world title fights for men even on at york hall sometimes you know for the lower weight classes and stuff so they could easily do it they could have easily they could do like all women's cards they could start letting women main event shows you know like main event shows at the o2 like all they need is a good undercard it, wherever the the main events like a, a fight you want to see or not even if the co-main event is a fight you want to see if you put like conor ben on the co-main event people are going to be like oh conor ben's on that show i'll go to that to watch conor ben you've got to start promoting it properly and that's the biggest problem that women's boxing is going to have is you know as much as eddie hearn may want to talk about how big women's boxing is at the moment and so on and so forth he's not promoting it properly why are we again again what the what i spoke about in the last video why are we not getting the fights that we deserve again it's just katie taylor beating the shit out of someone that we know she's gonna beat the shit out of someone that's nowhere near on her level we're not getting carissa shields versus um sarah sarah marshall we're, you know we're not getting these fights that would make women's boxing carissa shields versus sarah marshall could probably sell out the mgm it probably could especially if they promoted it properly chris shields is fairly big she's got a fairly big following so does sarah marshall sarah marshall's the only person to beat her professional and amateur if they promote it properly they can do it get them both on a card in england in america you know have them both fight someone get them to do a little face off it's, it's easy man they can promote it they can do it if they want to but they're not they're not doing it they're not promoting it like name me five women world champions in boxing you, you can't i couldn't even do it <laughs> I, I, I don't know i could probably actually i could uh, jesus christ that's not good well you've got 
uh, Katie Taylor, Chantel Cameron, uh, Savannah Marshall, Carissa Shields, and Hannah Rackett. I know Hannah Rackett because she's my friend. So yeah, there's five for me, but I would struggle to name another one personally. But um, yeah, man, so that's why I think women's boxing is just not going to be on the level as men's. But it is on the UFC. The women's UFC is just on the same level as men's. The women still headline shows. The women, like, worlds of title fights, sell out venues. They, they do it all because they promoted it properly. They had the superstars, and when they had the superstars, they used them. Katie Taylor, was a, she's an Irish superstar. She's pretty got a big, pretty big reputation worldwide. But as far as I'm aware, I don't think she's ever headlined the show. You know, why? What they don't they don't promote it properly and I don't think they ever will. But yeah, that's my opinion guys. Let me know what you think. Peace.